Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are sitting here in this beautiful, fully furnished double wide in the Highlands at Brentwood. We are sitting here with Fred and Glennis from Rochester, Minnesota. And uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about their story and also a little bit about the home. So anyway, what, what did you say brought you to Arizona? Well, getting away from the ice and snow, I guess. And golf. We love the golf. And there's a golf course inside the park. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else, Fred? Just for something Same. unusual outside of just getting away from Rochester in the face of snow. <laughs> yeah, so what made you pick Arizona? Well, we tried Florida first, you know, there for several years, and decided that it was too hot and sticky down there, but we liked Arizona much better. Great. And so, um, what was your first, what, what did you have first when you first came down? Uh, by that, do you mean what? When you first lived here, did you, is this the place you owned when you first came here? Oh, yes. To Arizona. Oh. This, oh. Is, this, we bought this in, uh, 1996. And we've been here ever since. Aside from going back for the summers. So, um, why are you selling? Well, we're selling because it's getting rather difficult. We don't like to fly, so we we drive back and forth, and it's going in and out of motels, and we're getting older in our mid-80s almost, and uh, it's just, and our family is back in Minnesota pretty much. Fred has a relative in California, but uh, other than that, just getting back uh, to our roots, I guess, for our later, later years. Yeah, be around all the grandkids and stuff. Well, we don't have any grandkids. We don't have any children. Oh! We had dogs when we could have been having children. <laughs> <laughs> well, they uh, they certainly could be uh, more unconditionally loving, that's for sure. I, I can speak for first-hand knowledge on that one. <laughs> you don't find any more loving dogs than golden retrievers. No, you don't. So, well, maybe you can get another one when you go back. <laughs> All right, so um, well, I've gone through the property, and uh, it's a it's a great little floor plan, um, nice size rooms, and a lot of upgrades. One of the things that we were talking about was the furniture in here is um, really top notch furniture. It's uh, we looked at some of the receipts, which they've got copies of, but uh, I think most of it's like Lazy Boy and name brand furniture. I think you. Uh, looked at that sofa sleeper we can go ahead and look through uh, the home and we'll look at some of the furniture that you're including um, the home is being sold fully furnished and they're going to be leaving silverware pots pans linens etc so why don't we go ahead and look through the home and you can show us some of the furniture i know you said this uh this dining room set and the chairs were pretty top dollar they're very comfortable yes well the table we got when we first got here mm -hmm. that's a chrome craft and we had chairs to match it mm-hmm it's got the then, nice big leaf in there. Then we decided to get something a little nicer in the chairs, and so we got those a couple of years ago. Okay. And then you just bought these two easy chairs these a couple two, years? These uh, lazy boys. Yeah. About, <clears throat> about two years ago, two or three maybe. Yeah. And uh, one thing I'll point out, though, is that these shades are really from the old styles but they sure keep out a lot of heat and cold mm -hmm. and those are the nice sunscreens too yes we got sunscreens on all the windows uh -huh. that, that you know that the sun hits yeah so this is the living room area and uh, he looked up the receipt on that sofa sleeper and it's a queen size sofa sleeper and it was uh, over eight hundred dollars by the right. time you paid tax on that right. This is a cute little chair, too. This is, you know, it's been so little used there. That one is almost like new. Okay, great. Well, go ahead and let's go through the home, and you can show us. Um, there's also a big flat screen TV here, nice okay. little stand, a little with display cabinet. Okay. Let's start in the kitchen. Kitchen. Well, the microwave was here when we came, mm -hmm. and it still works fine. Okay. It doesn't look real up to date, though. <laughs> That's okay. It still works, and, right? Uh, the cupboards, quite a lot of space. There is a lot of storage in here, and that eat-in kitchen is really a nice feature. And there are little chairs that I didn't mention before, I didn't think of. Those little chairs, Fred, from the bedroom. Why mm -hmm. don't you bring out one and show? Oh, oh we can see it when we go. Yeah, we can see. Sure. There were three little chairs here when we came, but they, yeah. we were afraid we might break them down. So. Yeah, they, they didn't look that substantial. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a nice kitchen, and uh, it walks through... 
to the formal dining room area as well. And there's a nice china hutch there. Nice and open to the living room. It's really a great floor plan. We do get comments on the big kitchen because a lot of these places don't have uh -huh. that much. And even though this has that retro vintage look, I mean, the house looks like new. Um, the cabinetry is in really good shape. Um, did you say this is new flooring or was it no, new in the bathroom? This, this was here. Okay, yeah, that's it's still in really good shape too. In there, new yeah. Okay, so you, okay. Okay, so you put those in. Yeah. New, okay. And then uh, this has the simulated marble um, sink with... Uh, the, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Lime green green swirl? Oh, uh, <laughs> I call it, it should be replaced. No, I think it's awesome. <laughs> this is great. It's got the we, box I, lighting. We put, we put that in. We had that put in, yeah. that cabinet. Oh, yeah, the trifold medicine cabinet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real handy. And then this the has bath, a... The bath, or the shower there, I kind of use for, for storage. Uh, storage. Yeah, a lot yes. of people do. But that is a walk-in shower. Yes. Yeah. I can open it here if you want. Okay. And then it's got, it looks like the walls have been painted in here. These are really heavy glass doors. Mm -hmm. I mean, they came from the 70s, I guess. Yeah. When they were built to last. Right. And it's a one piece. Yeah. That's a nice shower. Mm -hmm. And you also said that you had the plumbing redone and the fixtures mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they even replaced the main water line. So all the plumbing's been replaced within the last five years. Would say about that. Okay. You want to show under, it? Under the house. Yep. Too. Yep. So what do we want in here? Sure. Just uh, mm -hmm. you can show us all the storage. Wow. This is a nice big master. That lamp I keep thinking might have some value. It looks kind of Chinese, but I don't imagine It's it cool. Does. I know. I love, I actually collect the 70s lamps. Those both came with Those, those came with Those came with it. Yep. Black table and. Yeah. And then those little touch lamps. They must there. have done a lot of traveling to people that had this before. So yeah. I think they did. They're, they're from think, New England. Oh, and, really? Uh, I think they did a lot of entertaining because off and on I find these little pieces that I don't even know what they're used for. <laughs> but they're heavy brass, you know. And oh, neat. Really nice. You know, a nice big closet there. Yes, this is Fred's side. This is probably neatest. That's the laundry. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice and big, oh. though. I'm going to get a quick look in mine. Okay. I'm not organized. Oh, you're fine. No, that's great. Nice and big, and it goes all the way back. I'd say that's like nine feet. Probably. All right, and go into the master bath here. Again, it's um, got the simulated marble. This one has the gold swirl. And we then painted this because this wallpaper was really ugly. <laughs> And this has, uh, this has... The tub and shower. Tub and shower. Yep. One piece again. Yep. And uh, there's extra storage right there for yeah, linen. this is actually the linen closet. Uh-huh. have the vacuum cleaner in here, too. Okay. Does the vacuum stay? Yep. Yes. Okay. Great. Everything can stay that's in there. All right. Yeah, and I'm looking up at the ceilings and stuff, and the, I don't see any leak stains. I mean, these panels are almost in perfect, I mean, absolutely perfect condition. We've, we've never had any leakage. Mm -hmm. we've, we've kept it pretty, the roof is, you know, we've kept the roof in quite good. Uh-huh, and you've had the AC service regularly. Yes, a couple of years ago. Okay, this is great. This is such a big, nice bastard. Okay, let's go in the second room. I don't know what that is, but that was left here. It looks, maybe it's something that some... Yeah, somebody made it or something. Somebody made it. It must be, it must be a... There, there are also these, these mattresses on these. They're both just about brand new. Are they? Yeah, we got them, I think it was a yacht last year. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. You've got, you've got, I mean, thousands of dollars of furniture in this yeah. place. Yeah, for sure. And then this is uh, their room. They're kind of starting to pick out what they're going to keep and what they're going to take with them. But this is a good size second room as well. And um, opens into the patio. Yeah. Patio, yeah, yeah that's really it. nice. Uh-huh. And you have a rear exit out there. This is good size. Everything is just super clean. Nice patio set. That came from that my brother. Really a, that really a nice when patio set. When my brother set. left. I like place. it. When my brother left their place those here. Those are really, really comfortable chairs. They asked us if we'd like this, and we, we 
we did we'd always like to because oh they, yeah these are they bounce yes they're really yeah comfortable. this is great and it's real glass i believe because it was you know this comes from back in the 60s yeah was, uh, when things actually were built in quality <laughs> and we got um, and then you've got the vinyl got siding up above the wet floodlights oh nice. yeah uh-huh for so if you got oh yeah, night, this is so great. Let's go out front. The shrubs originally they're called uh, minute, no, what is it? The dwarf myrtle, but they don't look dwarf. <laughs> they, don't, they, they were taller than I was when I came down here this year. They took about a foot off. Uh huh. Just now, didn't you say you just put in a new drip system too, Fred? We re yep. redid. Redid. Yeah. yeah. That was like around what six hundred dollars or something to get that done. He said. I so, yes. Yeah. It was five hundred and forty-eight. 548 okay yeah just I mean the property is just everything's well manicured it's super clean um, you still have an outside patio area here real easy access um, to the golf course you can see that right it's directly in front of us so you can just carry your golf clubs up there and just start golfing we used to do that every day yeah, it's an excellent location. Jose is here too. <laughs> if they need anything called. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. All right. Next door. Yep. Excited. All right. I'm all excited. Uh huh. See if there's any mail there, we guess. Yeah, that's nice too that the our mail's mail delivered right, right in front. Yeah. So where are your neighbors from? Do you know? Do you know? Yeah, they're a very good friend here. He lost his wife a couple of years ago. He's there from Rockford, Illinois. Okay. The ones on the other side we just met when we got here, they're from, well, I think they're from Canada. No, Washington. Washington? Yeah. Okay, they're renting. Oh, okay. And Let's go out and look at the shed. Oh, the shed. Yeah. Okay. They can see where the washer and dryer are. I love this kitchen. It's so cheery. <laughs> I would keep that wallpaper. It's not bad because there's not a whole lot of you know, it. But there's lots of storage though. Yeah. And here's the this shed. Washer and dryer uh -huh. fine. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Some of it might even go with the house. All right. <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> Great. Everything but the suitcases. Yes. <laughs> You're going to need as much stuff to pack with as possible. Right. Oh, we got a Christmas tree in there. It's brand new. Oh, it's a Christmas, brand tree? New Christmas tree? Oh, really? Okay. In a box. Yep. And it's got pre lit, you know? Oh, yeah, those are nice. Uh, my, I think my office manager got one of those this year and she really liked it. This is usually full of quail. There's it some is. there right, right now. now. They're underneath there right now. Quail? Quail. Yeah. Aww. They come through here several times a day only. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's neat. Hey, you guys, where are you going? <laughs> anyway, they do allow fencing in here as well. Um, so, and this has a nice big backyard. I mean, yeah, yeah, but somebody could do a nice big sun patio back yeah. here. There's a lot they could do. They could even put in a new bush. Yep. And we've got direct TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, um, certainly very, very well kept. You guys have done a great job keeping this place up and well, we've enjoyed made, it. made some nice additions. So we covered the plumbing. You also said that the the water heater was replaced a few years ago, three to four years yep. ago, mm -hmm. and uh, everything's been maintained and kept up. There's uh, the only thing you'd mentioned was maybe the the eave troughs could be widened a little bit. Uh, yeah, I put up new, put a new, new one. Ones, yeah, the new ones about like that. Yeah. And what happens is the stuff from the palm trees falls in them. Oh. And that's very hard to get out. Okay. And especially when it's only about that wide. It isn't even that wide. That is really just, well. <laughs> well, well that's the only thing that they uh, can think of that they would uh, suggest replacing in here. She thinks the carpet needs to be replaced, but I think it's still in really good 
condition. Somebody could certainly make do with this uh, for the time being. Uh, it seems like it's still in really good condition. Maybe stretched, cleaned, but I think it's fine. I wouldn't replace it right away. Um, but anyway, okay, so if anybody's interested in this property, they're going to get a super buy. Um, they just listed it for eleven nine. And uh, possession is negotiable. They'd like to stay till the end of March, um, but somebody could possibly get in here before they left in April. And uh, if somebody's interested in this property, they can visit us on the website at www.azactiveresorts.com or our YouTube channel, which is azactiveresorts.com. And the web reference number for this property is going to be BH286ME. And I'm Kara. You can call us at 1-800-478-3864. And is there anything else you guys want to say? Well, we've said quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we wish you success in your future endeavors. Okay. We're going back to a new town home in Rochester. Good. That's great. That's one reason I think that we're going back or selling because we've got a new town home there sitting five months a year. Yeah. So yeah, and you've had a you've had a enjoyable season here. We have. We've made really good friends. Yeah. Played lots of golf on the golf course. Yeah. Our own golf course. Yes, that's a big deal here. It and it is it only costs a quarter to play. Wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> that's for league and you can go up any time and play when they're not playing league. Oh, that's good. Is there anything else we should know about the golf? I think they have reciprocal agreements with their other community viewpoint as well where you can get resident rates at their other courses. Uh, I right. think so, yeah. because no, Viewpoint true. has, mm -hmm. I think Viewpoint maintains this one. I believe. There, it's owned by the they same corporation. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've used that already once. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.